Alrighty then, we are back with another video today. Uh, we're going to announce the beginning of this build here. We're going to be working on our very first Johan kit. Uh, the 1970 Toronado hardtop. Uh, beautiful car. Wonderful box art. Uh, this is one of the things that attracts me to the Johan kits. And the, the lore that surrounds the whole mystique of the Johan type of thing with all the different stories about... What happened to the company? Where did this go? What happened to the, you know the, the all, all the um, uh, the tooling and stuff? You know what happened to that kind of thing? Fascinating stuff, but uh, I'm not going to elaborate on anything because you know it's great stories and stuff, and we've all heard them all. But uh, a couple of guys out there have been working on Johan kits, and uh, they've really been enjoying working on them. And it got me thinking, hey. We should start our Tornado build that we had kind of planned to do at the beginning of the year. And uh, I love that gold color that's on the box art. I, I couldn't think of anything else that... I did some Google search and stuff like that. I couldn't think of anything else that that thing would look good in. So I went ahead and, and uh, reached out to my friends over at Splash Paints. And we got some of their GM color. This is Olympic Gold's SP295. And um, I think that that is going to be... That, that's the, <laughs> I can't say it any other way, but that's the shiznit right there. So that's, I, I like, I really like that color. And um, it just came in the mail the other day. So I, I was like pretty stoked about it. Uh, so let's take a look inside. First off, what color do you think this is molded in? Hmm? Give you a second. And that color really is super pale blue. Very, very light blue. So if you guess blue, go have a cookie. Um, yeah, we're just going to get that out of the way right now. Uh, so I've, I've been through the kit a little bit. I've, I pull it out. I pull the, pull, pull the box out and I take a look at it and I just dream about how I want to build this. And I set it back on the shelf again. And now I'm like, we're, we're pulling the trigger there, Harriet. We're going to get this guy started. So in the interior bucket, this is not in focus. There we go. That's got some nice looking uh, pleating there. We know this is all going to be vinyl, right? That's all vinyl. And can you, can you smell the old cigarette smoke? I can just smell the old cigarette smoke looking at that interior. Look at that. Uh, so these uh, ejector pin marks down here, these look like they're going to be hidden by the seat, I, I, I hope. But there is carpeting all over the floor. Hey, wait a second. It's missing something. Where's that transmission tunnel? Nah, I'm just kidding with you. But uh, no, it's like it got a speaker molded in the back here. That's pretty sweet looking. So this is really nicely done. And look, there's not a lot of flash on this at all. Just a couple of little areas. To have to sand down a little bit nothing nothing major there our buddy is like really close <laughs> there we go that's got some great lines you know i really like that hockey stick back there that's really cool um and then oh yeah it's got some really lightly done detail get the light right on there there we go good job right thank you brian Got that nicely, very light detail. Now, I, I've never tried this technique before, and I'm curious on some feedback on it. Uh, the the where you do the bare metal foil over the over the lettering, and then you do the priming and painting, or is it you prime bare metal foil and then paint? I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work out. But uh, has anybody done that technique? And and if they have any hints or tips about that, please let me know. Uh, but the, uh, I mean, the, the door lines are so nice and, and crisp. That is nice. That I'm, I'm really impressed. It, and, oh, hey, look, it's got one of those, uh, specialized luxury turn signals up in the front there. Uh, if you, if you're not from the era of the seventies and eighties, um, these here were, part of it was the actual turn signal indicator and side marker. And the other part was a light that would come on when you had the turn signal on and we're making a turn so you could illuminate uh, the person you're about to run into. So that was pretty handy. I think it was all for insurance purposes. Oh, that sounds like transparent pieces. Uh, speaking of which, a little dirty. But, uh, I mean, I think it's got fewer scuffs and scratches than I do, and it's older than I am. So that, that looks really good. Not a lot of flash on that either, so that's nice. And does the body sit square on the, on the table? Just a little bit of a raise. I wouldn't even qualify that as an issue. Well, maybe a little bit more than I thought, but is there... Oh, oh there's some flash right there. Oh. Let's get on camera there, genius. 
just a little bit of a twist to it. Not bad, not bad at all. We've seen a heck of a lot worse in kits that are more modern. <clears throat> the firewall is pretty plain looking firewall. Is there another piece for the firewall? The chassis is molded in a very interesting fashion since there's no rear differential or, <clears throat> excuse me, or transmission tunnel or like that. So we got, we got dual exhaust on this boy. Look at that. Cool. So it's going to, we're going to be running solid axles on this guy here. Metal axles, I suspect, perhaps. And then uh, look at all this up here. Look at all this space to drop in the engine and transaxle up front there. Fascinating way they, they ran the engine and transaxle on these cars here. Um, they actually had the transaxle running side by side, side alongside the engine. Something, some kind of a fun thing like that. Now, I've talked to my buddy Louie over at Autistic Modeler. He's a he's a, an aficionado on Johan kits, and we were talking about tires. And I happen to mention that I, I've been noticing that on some Johan kits, we don't always get that white ring painted on there in the exact center. And he goes, yeah, that's, that's a known thing. So, you know, we'll have to figure out how to address that on these guys. These tires are, wow, those are like, those are grandma biscuits hard right there. Um, let's see, some chrome. Oh, look at this. That's pretty. That is cool. I like that. And then it's got the hubcaps, which are very, very authentic looking. And then, believe it or not, I thought this was a steering wheel insert. Believe it or not, this is actually a steering column. That's like the blinker and the gear selector right there. And this has got these really sweet looking racing wheels, uh, the Krager style racing wheels. Thought that was pretty sweet. This... <laughs> This air cleaner is very cool too. It, it, it looks like it's probably like a like a, a Northrop bomber style. <laughs> but uh, oh, here's the uh, transmission adapter. Goes on the back side of the engine and sends the power forward. And then uh, yeah, some brake pedals in chrome. Those would be fun to press on. Let's see here. Ooh, it says Tornado on there. Very cool. Nice, 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 nice. I, I'm, I'm becoming uh, a big fan of Johan kits. I only have, uh, let's see, this one and maybe three others in the stash. And, and two of them are actually like modern reissues or something. But, um, oh, look, there's a, an actual, there's a different grill insert there. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if this has like an optional front end or something like that. And, uh, uh, yeah, inner fender wells. Cool. Let's keep on going here. Oh, look at this. If you've ever been inside of an engine, you know what's going on there. Look at that. That is cool. Lift Holes for the lifters and push rods. There are no cylinders at home. <laughs> no cylinder. What's the bottom look like? Oh, no. It's just the bottom. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Check out that belt assembly. Oh, look. Uh, half shafts. And we have positionable front steering it looks like and then here's a torsion bar front end oh i did not realize they use a torsion bar on there very interesting beautiful looking seats too delicately molded i should say and then our hood oh, we got a bit of flash stuck on there a little bit of scuff here and there we've got the tornado on there again toronado toronado uh let's see here different steering do we have two different steering wheels did I am I seeing that right? Oh yeah, we do have we have a chrome we have a chrome steering wheel for the race package with the with the alternate tachometer. And then we have the go get your grocery steering wheel. So there we go. Uh, depending on what wheels you use, I guess, huh? Oh here's some more firewall detail right there. Very cool, very cool. And then oh check this out. There's a radiator, core support and everything, and then there's actually a top shroud cover. That's nice. Separately molded uh, brake booster, very cool, and a decent looking battery. You know we're going to paint that white and green, right? And here's some bits that have fallen off the tree. I put them in the sandwich bag because I don't want them rattling around in the box and disappearing. So our intake manifold. Pretty sweet looking. A little bit of flash, but not much. And then our dashboard. Man, that's cool looking. Very lightly detailed, very lightly cast type of thing. The the detail will be hard to pick out for me, but we'll figure it out in the back side of the front seat. And then, oh yeah, the red bits. Now these look like they've actually been tinted red. You see how the 
paint on that is cracking so i wonder if we can strip that and repaint it i'll bet that'll come right off with some lick so yeah we're getting ready to start this guy uh we've been wanting to get to this and been chomping at the bit so to speak and um we got something coming up on february we're starting the small scale group build uh we're also going to be kind of finishing off with our tank builds here pretty soon so we wanted to get rolling on something else and keep ourselves interested in the model car genre so thanks for tuning in if you made it this far in the video i appreciate that greatly uh, give us a like and a subscribe down below. It doesn't hurt you to do that. It really helps us out, and we appreciate it very, very much. So take it easy. We'll talk to you a little bit later on, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.